welcome back to my little homestead. This is my fourth in, um, recipe for Meatless Mondays, which I'm in a collaboration with with Miss Vicky from Vicky's Homestead and Little Jordan Farm and the farmer, the, pa the farmer, pastor's wife and um, Miss Lloyd from Whiffle Wall Holler. And today I'm just making a Primavera spaghetti vegetable sauce concoction. Very yummy though, so I hope you'll join me. See you soon. So to start off, um, I'm going to be using some unsweetened cashew milk and I'm, I have already chopped up some onions and um, red and yellow peppers and three cloves of garlic. And then I, now I'm going to dice up two tomatoes and some mushrooms and some Swiss chard I just picked from the garden. Just going to chop that all up and start sautéing it. So I'll see you in a minute. Sautéed the um, onion and garlic and pepper just for a few minutes and now and then I just wash that and chop these um, silver beet Swiss chard. And I'm just going to put a lid on it until that just cooks down. And once it's cooked down, I'm going to add in two diced tomatoes and stir that round. Oh, it smells beautiful. I love it. I've been making this recipe for years and years. And um, I tend to just pretty much add anything to it that I've got. It was originally meant to have tortellini, but I don't have any of that. So I've cooked up two different sorts of pasta because I'm just going to put the sauce um, over the pasta. So here for myself I've cooked up some whole wheat pasta because I don't tolerate um, anything that's not whole wheat very well. And then I just cooked up some regular spaghetti for my husband. And I'm going to try to move to only using whole grain spaghetti because it's just a lot better for our house. Um, I have got another recipe I haven't uploaded yet and it's for a, a vegetarian lasagna. And I made my own um, wholemeal pasta. It turned out really lovely. So I hope to share that uh, recipe with you soon. So that's almost cooked out. Just a little bit of liquid, just a little bit, and I'll pop the lid on, and I'm going to turn the heat down just a little bit, and let that just cook for a few more minutes. I realise I didn't have the camera on. I'm not sure if I filmed this, but I added a teaspoon of ground dried basil, two teaspoons of tomato paste, a teaspoon of onion powder, a teaspoon of garlic powder, about two cups of chopped mushrooms and three teaspoons of savoury yeast flakes and now I'm just pouring on some cashew milk and just going to cook that down so I'm probably using about two and a half cups so we're just going to cook that all together until all of those mushrooms are all cooked down and all the vegetables just start to come together and it's going to taste just lovely so you could use regular milk for this if you wanted. I used to always use regular milk. I'm just, I'm not that good with dairy. So I'm trying to cut way back on my dairy consumption. I will add a little wee bit of Parmesan cheese to this just because it would be very hard for me to part Parmesan cheese. So I'll just give that a little taste. See how we're coming along. Mm, it's lovely. So we're just going to cook that down um, for probably about 10 minutes. See you soon. Okay, I've just added probably about half a teaspoon of taco seasoning. And I added about half a teaspoon of garlic salt. Now I'm just going to bring that up to the boil and cook all those mushrooms down. So if you were wanting to add some dairy to this, you could add a little bit of cream near the end and a little bit of parmesan, which would finish it off just beautifully. So I'm just going to mix in just a little bit of parmesan just near the end. But you can tweak the flavours just to get the taste just right. It will taste a little bit different if you use dairy milk. Um, but I just wanted to use it this time just with the unsweetened cashew. And I really like it. I'm pleased with it. 
Okay, so I'm just going to thicken the sauce up a bit. I've just got a little bit of water and corn flour mixed together. That was probably about a dessert spoon of corn flour and just enough water just to make it just kind of runny. And you see it's going to thicken up quite fast. The good thing is because it's non-dairy, there's no curdling. It makes quite a rich colour with those mushrooms and it's all lovely and thick now. You'd think that I'd added cream or something to it. So this is just a lovely vegetable sauce. Um, I'd say two of the main vegetables that you should always include is the tomatoes, the onions and the garlic. But if you didn't have um, mushrooms, you could always use something else. You could use zucchini or, I don't know, whatever you wanted really. And if you didn't have silver beet, of course you could use some kale or you could use spinach. I just had already a little bit of extra um, silver beet in the fridge from when we used it the other night. So I just wanted to use it up. So I'm just going to cook that for a couple of minutes just to make sure the corn flour mixture is all cooked and then um, I'll stir in just a little bit of parmesan, it'll probably be about a quarter of a cup or less. And um, if you're interested, I just want to tell you that the cashew milk, unsweetened cashew milk, has no sugar in it and it has, probably for the amount I use, 6 grams of fat. So very low in fat and the only fat really at all in this meal is going to be the little bit of parmesan. So I'm just going to get ready to plate up. Back in a minute. So just grate in your um, parmesan or um, if you don't have parmesan you could just, if you, if you wanted, you don't really need it, this is very tasty but I'm just a little bit addicted to parmesan cheese because I find you only need such a tiny bit and it just gives it a wonderful flavour. So that's all I'm going to mix in, so that's probably only about a tablespoon. Then I'm going to um, grate a little bit over each bowl. So we'll just come over there and I'll plate it up. Okay, so I'll just spoon this rich looking sauce over our pasta. Mm -mm. That is good. We're just going to eat all of this. Get all those wonderful vegetables into us. We slept in a little bit today. It's Anzac weekend here in New Zealand. And what's I going to tell you? I've forgotten. <laughs> I've forgotten my train of thought, which often happens. So everything we're doing today is running a little bit late. Okay, so we've got that. Hold high. Now I'm going to grate the parmesan. A little bit more on top of each one and then I'll finish it off with a little sprinkle of parsley. Doesn't that look wonderful? Well, I hope you enjoyed seeing me make that little pasta dish and I hope you'll give it a try. Bye for now. God bless.